A potential game changer for the tens of thousands of Americans who have sickle cell disease. CBS 2's Allie Bauman here now with the details on the treatment just approved by the FDA, Allie. Well, Christina Mori, sickle cell mostly affects African Americans and has long been considered to be neglected by the pharmaceutical industry. It can cause pain anywhere blood circulates and dramatically shortens a patient's life. Today, for the first time, the FDA approved a gene editing therapy as treatment for this disease. I wake up and be in excruciating pain. Kim Ross, a mother in Rosedale, Queens, has been managing her sickle cell disease for the past three decades. After the pandemic, um, I started to become sick maybe once a month. She is one of about 100,000 Americans living with this diagnosis. For people with sickle cell, the typically donut-shaped red blood cells bend into inflexible sickle shapes. That causes them to pile up inside blood vessels and prevent normal delivery of oxygen throughout the body. Complications include bone deterioration, strokes, and organ failure. It was kind of hard for me to like do things like have fun and stuff because I'd always have to be worried about if I'd have a pain crisis or not. 15-year-old Johnny Lubin of Connecticut was among a small group of patients in a clinical trial, editing some of the billions of letters in his genetic code to relieve sickle cell symptoms. The gene editing technology, called CRISPR, was used to increase the amount of a protective form of hemoglobin. Then cells were infused back into Johnny's bloodstream. You're reprogramming your cells to produce fetal hemoglobin. Those who have higher levels of fetal hemoglobin tend to have less severe symptoms of sickle cell disease. Johnny met the trial's goal to be free of symptoms for at least a year after treatment. Like I didn't have any pain. I didn't have to go to the hospital. Friday, the FDA approved the first cell-based gene therapies for patients 12 years and older. Until now, the only hope for a cure has been a bone marrow transplant. But more than 80% of patients cannot find a donor. It's the first positive sign they have that there is a treatment for their sickle cell pain crisis. A hopeful sign in a long and expensive process. Medical experts say gene editing is expected to cost more than two million dollars per patient. And yet, Kim Ross still dreams of what this could mean for her. No more hospital visits. Well, about 20,000 people in the U.S. are thought to have a severe enough form of sickle cell to potentially qualify for this treatment. But experts are not calling this a cure quite yet. Patients will still have to be followed for mm. the long term.